The youngest head coach in the NFL now belongs to the Seattle Seahawks. 36-year-old Mike McDonald, who just made a historic presence with the Ravens defense as the defensive coordinator as a young man. I mean, 36 years old. He's like the Sean McVay of the defensive side of the football. And it is an exciting hire by the Seahawks. A six-year deal. That means they believe in the future here. And it also means they understand that things take time. I think what's really nice about this Seahawks hire is that they are showing, number one, that they know it's very different than when they hired Pete Carroll, right? Pete Carroll had already been coaching in the NFL in his past. He already had two national championships in college, and you expect it to work faster than other things. With this deal, they're going from pure, you know, experience and knowledge on the Pete Carroll side, right? 72 years old, the oldest head coach in the entire NFL to the youngest head coach in the NFL at 36. He began, I believe it was, you know, he spent nine, se- nine eight seasons with Baltimore. So what was he? 28 when he started there. He spent eight of his last seasons on the Baltimore staff, two years as defensive coordinator. Um, he graduated from UGA with a finance degree in 2010 and then earned a master's in sports management from UGA in 2013. That was only 11 years ago. So obviously, I think he spent two years not coaching in the NFL and then nine years in the NFL and quickly moved his way up uh, to get a head coaching job with the Seattle Seahawks. And I feel like, you know, this six-year deal makes sense too. They're, They're really trying to give him time. I think the Seahawks are hoping to be more like a Pittsburgh Steelers type of team, right? You know, they what do they have? A few head coaches in their entire history. They don't fire people like Bill Cowher or Mike Tomlin. I mean, my whole lifetime has been two or three coaches for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And I think one main reason, obviously they make the right choices. Do not get me wrong. That's probably the number one reason. But number two is the patience and the understanding and understanding that as an organization, we're going to do the right things for you as well. So the hope here, and it was like pretty clear during the press conferences, right? When Pete Carroll was leaving and John Schneider was stepping in to talk and it was pretty clear that John Schneider is looking to be the leader of all this now while Pete Carroll and him were probably like co-leaders and there was a lot of say from Pete Carroll's side now he wants this to be Mike McDonald is on the on the football side all football all strategy all defense all scheme all that while John Schneider can be behind the scenes and make his decisions on personnel, his decisions on what needs to happen at different spots of the staff. I know with staff that I'm sure Mike has some save, or I'm sure right now when there's an offensive coordinator coming or a a defensive coordinator coming, there's going to be some save, but I know John Schneider wants a big part of that um, and helping. He wants the football side over there and the personnel slash major decisions on coaching and different things on his side and they're gonna work that they're gonna work it through they're gonna make sure it all works the right way and that's what i'm excited about is a new type of partnership from coach to gm um, and excited to see a young guy get a chance uh, if he can do it the right way we're gonna see something really special the ravens defense was also really special last year and i think that's something that we need to take into account um they obviously have the personnel. And that's something that I want to preface before I say too much is that you look at their personnel. They're obviously, and they always do this. The Ravens defense always has the right guys. So is it going to immediately translate? Not necessarily, right? I mean, when you have Humphreys and Patrick Queen and all the talent that they have on their team, it makes it a little different than the talent on the Seahawks team, but the Seahawks have young talent, right? And that's what's exciting is Devin Witherspoon's 23, Tariq Woolen's 24, Boye Mafe's 25, Jordan Brooks is only 26, Derek Hall, we're going to get to see more of him next year, hopefully 22, Draymond Jones is 27, Uchenna Nawasu's 27, we'll see, I know he's not super young, but we'll see if we re-sign Leonard Williams. We also got some guys that we didn't get to see last year, um, like Mike Morris, I don't know if he's going to pan out to be anything. He might be a practice squad guy for all I know, but 
he is a guy that we thought before injury, maybe he'll have some type of impact on the Seahawks. So with all that said, even with special teams guys, like Jarek Reed was a rookie last year. I think he was one of the best special teams players in the NFL before he got hurt that could translate eventually to something else too. So everything is looking up on the young Seahawks defense, but when you have a head coach that is this defensive oriented and brought the Ravens defense to where he brought them, you would hope that that means he is, you know, going to do the same in Seattle. So that's, you know, why it's exciting. It's always a risk. So don't get me wrong. It is a risk, but it is the right move. And outside of, if you just type in Raven schedule this year, go look at the teams that they held to three points, like the Seahawks and the Detroit Lions. I think the three or six, I can't even remember what it was. All to six points, the Seahawks to three points. And the big part of it all is the Ravens led by Mike McDaniel, that defense. Uh, they led through the NFC West. Uh, they went 4-0, beating the Seahawks, Rams, 49ers, and Cardinals. Nine turnovers in those four games. I mean... Nine turnovers in four games against the Seahawks, Rams, 49ers, and Cardinals. 4-0. I know the Cardinals weren't that special this year. I think it was without Kyler Murray as well, so can't really judge that one too much, but it's still 4-0 against the NFC West. The Rams were a playoff team. The Seahawks were borderline a playoff team. I mean, literally, like, you know, if, if, if Green Bay had lost – were in the playoffs, and the Rams were a playoff team. For obviously, oh, I said that the 49ers were in the Super Bowl now. So it's impressive to go 4-0 against those teams and force nine turnovers. Mike McDonald is the head coach of the Seahawks, 36 years old. It's a big deal, and I couldn't be happier. If you enjoy these videos, we have a podcast coming out tomorrow on our channel here at Seattle on Tap. Go to the link in our bio in this description, whatever you want to call it, on YouTube. We have a Mariner-specific page in social media. We have this Seattle on tap is Seahawks and social media. And we have now have a Huskies on tap page for Huskies, football, basketball, whatever it is, Washington Husky stuff. It's all in the description. And you'll see our website with our merchandise where you can get on our email list, all that. Please check the description if you're into Seattle sport and show us support and love. I'm Sammy on tap. And uh, I'll also have a video of my own uh, tonight on this Mike McDonald, uh, Mike, Mike McDonald um, hiring. But uh, we'll also have a podcast on our page here tomorrow, which is going to be exciting, and it's a big deal. So let's enjoy this, and let's be happy. This is a big, big deal.